Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for April 14th. Today's devotion is titled, Live Like It's Morning. And the Bible reading is from, excuse me, my throat is really dry. <clears throat> Ephesians 5, chapter 1 to 9. Chapters. No, chapter 5, verses 1 to 9. Wow. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you there must not even be a hint of sexual immorality of any kind. Um... Or, sorry, not, or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, <coughs> but rather thanksgiving. For this you can be sure. No immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. When I have to travel across time zones by air, I try various remedies to avoid jet lag. I think I've tried them all. On one occasion, I decided to adjust my in-flight eating to the time zone where I was heading. <coughs> Instead of eating dinner with the rest of the passengers, I kept watching a movie and tried to fall asleep. The hours of elective fasting were difficult, and the breakfast that came right before we landed left much to be desired. But living out of sorts with those around me had worked. It jolted my body clock into a new time zone. Paul knew that if believers in Jesus were to truly reflect him in their lives, they would need to live out of step with the world around them. They were once darkness, but now they were to live as children of light. <coughs> and what might that look like? Paul goes on to fill out the picture. The fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Sleeping through dinner may have seemed foolish to the people on my flight, but even as it's midnight in the world, as believers, we're called to live like it's morning. This may provoke scorn and opposition, but in Jesus, we can walk in the way of love, <coughs> following the example of the one who loves us, and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my throat is really dry. Where have your actions and choices lined up too closely with the world around you? What would the fruit of goodness, righteousness, and truth look like in your life? <coughs> Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.